Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Deku Farm Academy. In this channel, we teach people how to grow vegetables such as cucumber, tomato, watermelon, cabbage, onions, etc. If this is the first time of visiting my channel, consider subscribing. In today's episode, we shall be talking about how to steak tomato. Join me as we move to the farm. Welcome to Beku Farm Academy channel. Here we are at one of the sites of Beku Farm. We want to take a look at how to stake tomato. We are at the tomato farm here in Bukani Kotide, the Sudim Low Government of Akwaibom State in Nigeria. So we want to look at how to stake tomato. So join me as we go to the farm. This is a tomato farm with plant uh, transplanted about uh, three weeks ago. We transplanted. We use nursery tray to nurse our tomato. This is what we use. Some people call it seedling tray. This is the one that has a uh, 105 cells inside. So we put the medium, like the cocoa pits, as we know here before the transplanting we sow the seed and this look at the example of it although this one doesn't show exact how it look like this is the one we already transplanted the remaining ones we've just shown you so after trans transplanting it into we actually use bags in this very section of the farm i will make another video and in another episode i will show you the one we planted on the normal ground but this one we decided to use the sack bag to show you how we can also grow it for instance those of you who may live in an environment that you may not have land maybe the compound is being interlocked you can still grow your tomato very well in that little environment that you have so here we are in Beko farm that we is about uh, 500 stands of tomato at week a three this is the third week of it you can see there is it has already started flowering you can see the flowering coming out after three weeks of transplanting you can look at how it's very healthy but that's not the area that we want to talk about majorly today we want to talk about this taking area after transplanting it you can see this bamboo this things that you need to use for your staking you have the bamboo is common or any other staking material you can use it you have the string let me show you the string this is a galvanized string not just normal string it look like binding wire but it's not the normal binding wire it's called galvanized it's a galvanized binding wire why i decided to use it it can last some of my farm i've already used it for up to three years because it won't rust even the rain fall on it the sun whatever so that's why we choose to use it so when you put the the bamboo you put it this about uh six feet high you put it you put it at the middle you put it depending on the size of your your bed or the farm side you put it as you can see it in the video here then you you tight the governance wire you tension it to the end as you can see it this will help to trellis your tomato for it to be able to have a good fruiting setting and also to be healthy so when you finish doing this what you need you just need another rope for instance as you can see this rope is very common you can see it anywhere in the market use rope like this then you measure it from the governance wire to the place that you want to stake it with let me say something here most people tie it to the stem of the tomato you can see example i've done it here now i discourage this we just did this for example to show you why we don't advise that you tie it to the stem of the tomato is that if anything happens maybe in the course of spraying 
the knapsack enter this rope now and he drag it definitely the tomato will come and will pull out but if you tie it as i'm going to show you on a stick and use it to support is better and also this tomato is just starting it's the, the, the stem will be bigger than this so when you tie tied it up to the stem this way when the tomato gets bigger the stem than this it may also affect it so we prefer using a method of this nature look at this just look for a small stick of this nature tie the rope as you can see when you finish that you place it give a gap from the stem you place it like this then you carry the the rope up then you tie the rope to this very string just like this very simple very simple so after tidying it you try to help the tomato to follow it to follow it and you also discover here in this tomato though we are not talking about pruning majorly today but let me just flash on it we already started pruning the side shoot so that we only have the main stem that can follow it up for healthy fruits and other advantages in other episodes we will talk about that so after you trellis it this way you keep following it to you at the end of the depend on this is a determinate tomato so depend on the, the kind of a variety either determinate or indeterminate tomato that you are planting so it follows it up to the last level it will stop depending on the tomato variety i've said or how you care for it so this is how we we stack our tomato you can see it you can see it very healthy very healthy very very healthy so you, as you come to your farm you keep handling it helping them to follow the staking rope helping them there are many methods of staking we will be showing you some of other methods but this is the simplest method in tomato trellising or staking so you can see the farm you can see the farm everywhere you stake and how beautiful it is so here we are at Beko farm we just wanted to do this short video to show you how to stake your tomato how to trellis your tomato so if you actually like what we are doing and you want to follow us up on our youtube channel so you can just click the subscription button click on the bell so that anytime we upload our videos you can see it thank you very much please as you watch our video help to share it to others let other connect other to follow it up so let's help our people that some of these things we can do it down here in the south south god bless you see you in our next episode god bless you